Hello, it's Kylie from Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to be going over how to update your About Me profile um, on your KW IDX site. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you're logged into Command is click on your name in the top right hand corner and go ahead and select Settings. We're going to start out by accessing the marketing profile to make sure all your information is up to date. So once you're in the settings section, you can come over to connect settings, open that up and click on marketing profile. So here you'll want to make sure that your headshot is up to date, as well as any phone numbers, email addresses or bios. And if you have any questions about updating your headshot, you can let us know. It does need to be a perfect square and the size recommendation is 360 by 360 pixels. So anyways, just we're going to add some hyphens here just to have a little bit of a change happening to our site. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that saves. And once your marketing profile is up to date and ready to go, you're going to come over to the left hand side and click on consumer. and then you'll want to go up to Agent Site Pages. So there's two ways to do this. The first way will be to create a brand new About Me page to replace the old one. So you can do that by coming up to Create a New Site. You'll want to select On My Agent Site and Create Page. I always like to give it a title first. And the reason this is one of the options is because when you use the agent profile um, widget, you can just click and drag it over and it'll automatically pull all the information from the marketing profile. So as you can see here that the hyphens appeared in the phone number, if I would have updated the photo or the bio, it would have automatically updated here. So then all you'll have to do is click on the body of the widget here, go to configure widgets, and you'll want to make sure you update this role and company because otherwise it will default to lead listing agent at Royal Realtors. So in this case, we'll, we'll just say marketing. So once everything looks good here, you can save and apply and you can save the changes. And from there, you'll have to add it onto your site. So before we do that, the other way to do this is if you don't want to create a brand new widget, you'll go over to Designs, and you'll find your original About Me page. And typically, when you first launch the site, see, we have a bunch of pages here, so I'm going to search for it. Um, in this case, we have it titled About Me. You'll find that original page and you'll click on it. And so from there, you'll be able to configure widget and either update your photo, you can copy and paste your bio here, you can update your phone number, whatever you need to do. And so once it has been updated, you can save and apply and save changes. So before we add that to the site, you'll see that every time you save a design, it'll put the latest update at the top of your list here. So if I were to go in again and make another change, it'll appear above this first about me. So now we're ready to add it to the site. So you'll go over to site and app settings, go to site pages, and you'll want to go ahead and add are, sorry, you want to click on the existing About Me page. From there, on the right hand side, you'll see these three dots where you'll click on that and you'll select page. So the most recent update is always going to be at the top. So in this case, I'm going to choose the second to the top just because that's the newest one I created. I didn't make any changes to that other one. And all you'll have to do is click save. And that will actually update it on the site for you. And it's actually as simple as that to make changes to your agent profile. 
If you do have any other questions, you can let us know. You can email us at support at Scott Leroy Marketing, and we'll get you all taken care of. Have a great day.